Well, it's, it's, it's Super Puzzle, puzzle Fighter. Fighter. It's, a, it's a Street Fighter puzzle game. You can play as Street Fighter characters, but it's a puzzle. Yep. All right. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a good call because that way, um, they said a single, I was just worried, like, oh yeah, this sounds going to be over in like an hour. <laughs> but with double. Well, if you're keyed up and you have a second match here from the second fighter, right. you have to change it. Right, of course. And that well, has I'm going to have to quickly just go. <laughs> right, right. That's, that's the tricky part. Yeah, it's a tricky part. All right, welcome everybody to the first ever Retro World Series Retro Puzzle Championship 2023 here at Comic Palooza Real Retro World Series. I will be your host and MC of the evening, G to the Next Level. And we are about to start round one, and we're about to find out what the first game of potentially six different games, maybe even seven, that you're going to see today. So let's find out what the first game is going to be for today's tournament. Here we go. All right, what's it going to be? What's going to be the first round? It looks like it's going to be Dr. Mario. All right, get your pills ready. We're going to take out some viruses. All right, so let's go ahead and get our first round set up and get our first couple of competitors. All right, um, let's have D. Awesome and Lorenzo. And so D. Awesome and Lorenzo. Sean, and three strikes. Let's have you on the main screen. 
All right, you're going to be up on the main stage. And then, uh, Ruby Khan and Santos. Ruby Khan and Santos finding open Dr. Mario. And then Dominican Cat. Can you scroll to the uh, Dr. Mario rule set oh. on this screen? Was it touch screen? No, I will. Oh. Uh, what are you guys doing live on Twitch? We are. Okay, cool. Yeah, we are currently live. It's Dominican cat. Dominican cat and cross over the. Yeah. Oh dang! <laughs> All right. You're Nebulae, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, your round hasn't started yet. Yeah, because yours will start after the uh, the first one of the first rounds. Right, so hold tight. <laughs> Okay, we are going to get started in just a moment, everybody. If you're here watching us on Twitch, welcome in, welcome in. Everybody, we will get started with round one on the stream in just a moment. Ooh, we're 
Alright, two rounds in. Or two wins in for Rajan. Playing Dr. Mario on high speed does not mess around. There. Pick up the three strikes for the horizontal move there. An all forgotten method. Still hanging in there though. That's 3-0 Ronchon! Alright. We're gonna get ready for our next matchup on the main stage. Congratulations to Ronchon. But remember, it is double elimination, so if you get eliminated, you're not done. Stick around. You make a cat one? Excellent. Alright. So stick around, everybody. We'll begin our next match in just a moment. Strikes first. Sometimes you gotta wonder how Mario got his doctor certification. I don't I wanna know. Awesome gets the victory! It's first of three crowns. So that's it, yeah. But you're not, but uh, Emily, you're not eliminated yet. Remember, it's double elimination, so you're still in it. Alright, we'll get our next match going in just a moment. who are watching us on the Twitch stream. So welcome and we'll get our next match started in just a moment. But we're Retro World Series. We basically do our retro setup every year for Comic Palooza. Gracious for them to have us for yet another year for our very first puzzle championship. But we've only just begun. It could be a multitude of different games, including a mystery game. So we'll see who wins as we get ready for our next matchup.
All right, so we're about to find out what the next game is going to be. All right, and here we go. And it looks like the next round is going to be... Super Puyo Puyo Su. All right. Also known as uh, Puyo Pop, or in some areas known as Kirby's Avalanche or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. So, all right, we will get that started. So for those that are watching at home, or for anybody who's actually here at the convention, uh, Puyo Puyo is a series that's still going on today, even through Puyo Puyo Tetris or any other Puyo, Puyo, Puyo Pop Fever that's been around for so long, any of its other many guises like Kirby's Avalanche, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Like there's so many different iterations of Puyo Pop. Which one is your favorite? Which one did you grow up on? I mean, I personally, being a Sega person, I grew up with Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, but uh, just seeing that Sega has kept this franchise alive for so long is amazing. But sound off, which ones have you all been, uh, which ones did you grow up with, if any?
All right, and here we go. Versus the Minicat. Oh, wow. Almost had a full circle there. mentioned in Dr. Mario about how combos are the name of the game, but in Puyo it is very crucial. And Dawson is doing an excellent job, or dare I say it, an awesome job getting those combos together. Cool. It's a lot of cleanup. And I couldn't quite make it. So Dawson gets the first round. I love how like the, the difficulty level is spicy. And it's only a three. Yeah, with the triple. That's your quadruple. Just like that. That's how it can happen. The second round goes with Dawson. with a good job saving off that attack. However, the triple. That's it. So Dawson with the win. Alright, we will set up our next round on the main stage in just a moment. Alright, we got Ronchon and Santos are gonna be on the main stage. Virtue. Acting is just as important as reacting. Round time with the first attack. Oh, 
Oh, with the block? Oh, couldn't block all of it, though. Try keeping the pressure up. Have an answer of his own? Oh, not quite. Still keeping alive though. Oh, and Ronchai gets the first round. Three. things I love about Puyo Puyo so much. Ooh, and second round goes to Ranchan. Three victories. about Puyo is managing managing your attacks and managing the trash. You can have a really incredible match going back and forth and back and forth. The two people that are excellent at building combos. It's going to be a massive hit. There it is. Ronchon wins this battle. Congrats to Ronchon. Santos, of course, stick around. And we'll move on to our next batch. Oh, and just now. Wait, so hold on. Let's lose this round. Let's, let's, let's.
is building something. I can feel it. This might be the opening he needs. There you go. Oh, coming back, coming back. Keep going, keep going, keep going, almost so close! Oh, no! Still keeping up, oh, well, so close though, that was a great round. Give it up, y'all, that was a great round. It's not over yet though. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There it goes. You always gotta wonder for those who play games like Puyo Puyo and the crossover between this and Puzzle Fighter, another game that we might potentially see today. It's really like, what are the kind of strategies to carry over between these two? And I'm already seeing it watching these two go right now. Oh, 
seems like whenever Kurosawa is building something, Santos has an answer. Keeping the pressure on. Oh. No, unfortunately not. But it was a good try, though. Give it up, everybody. And Santos moves on. All right, so stick around, everybody. We'll have our next matchup in just a moment. All right, so now we're moving on to the next game. So we're going to find out what game is next. We only got four, maybe five games left. So let's find out what is going to be the next one that's going to be played today. And it looks like it's going to be Wario's Woods. Very oft unknown puzzle game from Nintendo and Super NES in the late era of the NES. In fact, the last released game for the NES officially in the United States. So, all right, Warriors Woods is up next, and we'll have that set up in just a moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so we're about to get set up with Warrior's Woods here. It's a very off unknown puzzle game. Many people will forget that this one actually exists. This is the last officially released game from Nintendo for the NES in North America. And it was also available on the Super NES. And it this just recently arrived on Nintendo Switch Online as well. Alright, here we go! Look at Toad go. So depending on the character that you pick, or the type of monsters that you actually pick, you can set up combos either vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Oh, nice combo from Ruby. <laughs> oh, what, what's gonna happen here? Uh oh. Oh, still keeping it alive though. Don't give up in this game. <laughs> Woo! Santos answers back! Beautiful. Oh! Ruby answers right back with another sign up combo. I don't know if I'm supposed to be impartial towards these different games, but I have to say, Wars Woods is probably the most fascinating one out of our entire lineup. Aside from maybe the main event, but I don't know what that's going to be. We have to wait and find out. Oh, all clear with the red. Oh! Have something cooking. Or, oh, or not. <laughs> Santos is not going to let that happen. There you go, we kicked it!
You know, the kicking in this game reminds me a lot of the bomb kick in Bomberman. Oh, and that's it. Santos takes the first win. So it's amazing the, the, the familiar faces that we tend to see here with the Retro World Series, right? Like, you know, good old the Awesome and uh, Freean and whatnot, but you know who we miss? Your face. You might have retired, but um, we miss your face here. I wonder how he would have fared with this game. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Chad? Yeah, this is such a cool game. Like, I actually personally prefer the NES version over the Super NES version. You say that. I don't know, man. You never know with puzzle games. It's one of the reasons why this tournament is awesome, because you never know. And if this game does teach us anything, Toad's a lot stronger than he looks. He doesn't have a lot of room to- oh no! So something happened and that's it! Will we be able to come back? Still got time, still got a chance! fans out there, you might notice the, the crow at the top it looks a little familiar as well. because every, every monster operates differently in how you can eliminate them. So for somebody who's used to lining things up vertically versus horizontally versus diagonally, and it switches it up so often whichever way works best for you. So for somebody like me, who plays like Tetris, or however, is used to doing things vertically, it's definitely a change. And But it's, it moves so smoothly, it's, it's a great game. It's a really great game. Oh, 
Nice. There we go, Santos. Good clearing there. Excellent job clearing it down. It's just like that last Pluto match we had. It's a nice match. Oh, what? I say that, and here comes the attack. It's like, you, you, you think you're relaxing? No. comes back Oh. Well then. <laughs> oh, and Santos clears it up. Just like that.
quite give the bomb where it needs to be. Or that works. <laughs> Nicely done. Right back. A gem, though. Oh, immediately took it out. Santos just straight up said, no, no, none of that. Two and two! Goodness! Oh. No room to move now, though. Mm. This could be it. This could be it. Unless Santos finds a way out. Nope. That's it. Ruby Khan takes it. Oh, what a match! Awesome, congrats to RubyCon! See, you never give up. That right there is exactly why you never give up until it's over. All right, we're gonna set up our next match in just a moment. It's gonna be between Ronchon and 
D awesome. Alright, and here we go! Sal Hawkins, I am doing the commentary. Comments on Twitch. Your face, I think you can do better. You got a champ, you got a player of the year championship two or title two. Try and retain. This is how you do it. We're gonna be at Akon. Be next week we're gonna be at Akon in Irving, Texas. That will turn us there. See if your face will come out of retirement. Right now it's coming down to the last few monsters. Ronchon is done. We have our first game goes to Ronchon. Game two. Winners finals. Strike first. Gonna get the first good combo. There you go. There's the first strike. First big strike. The awesome. That's first. Takes the second game. It is tied 1 1. This is first to, to win three. Has six left. Awesome down to his last three. 
Oh, Ronchon's down to one. He also has two. Oh, there it goes. And Ronchon takes the third game. So two to one. That was a good clear by Ronchon. Oh boy. Oh. Still neck and neck. Five monsters left for Ronchon. Ten for what? For the awesome left. Definitely gonna need this white bomb. Left for Ronchon. Should be able to take game three. Oh, last second, another monster drops. Oh, and Ronchon moves on to the grand finals. D Awesome moves on to losers' finals. All right, so we are going to find out what the next game will be for Losers Final. This game will just be exclusively for Losers Finals. It comes down to Ballistic, Tetris Battle Gaiden, and Super Puzzle Fighter. This is a reminder that you won't know what the final game will be. It will not be of these three. So, let's see what the next game is going to be. Here we go. Ooh, it is Super Puzzle Fighter. No, no, no. no. no? Oh, no, it's Tetris Battle Gaiden. Wow. All righty, I don't even have to change consoles now. It stays on the SNES. This is a Nintendo exclusive puzzle tournament for some reason. Yeah. Well, I, I, the console's already up there, so we're good. <laughs> Do you mind changing it? Thanks. All right, so we're going to get started in just a moment for Losers Finals. Which will be D Awesome versus Rubicon. Give it up to these guys. Right. Looks like we're about to start for Losers Finals. Alright, so we're about to start our next round of Tetris Battle Guidance. For those who don't know, the Tetris Battle Guidance is a Japanese exclusive. This one never came to North America. Incredible little game. But you never really know exactly what type of attacks that you're going to see. Every character is different. Another one that I was really eager to see in this match. 
or this tournament. So we got the awesome versus Ruby Con. Here we go. comes our first attack. Rubicon answers right back. Sometimes you don't even know like how long the attacks are going to happen. Oh, we got a Tetris from Rubicon. Oh, let's keep that pressure on quick. You see, notice every character has four different abilities. Some are attacks, some are defensive, some are offensive. Something's growing. Oh, 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 oh. So sometimes it's just like you're waiting for just that right piece. I think it might be what RubyCon is doing. However, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that does it. Rubicon takes the first point. See, that's the crazy thing about Tetris. There's so many versions of Tetris, and they all play differently. This was nothing like any other Tetris you've ever played before. Awesome can come you can they can come back from that. They can come back from that. Oh, they've gotta get oh, they've gotta get something going though. Yeah, but, yeah, but Ruby's got so much room though. Gotta get that pressure up. That could do it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Nicely done for Dawson. Awesome. Double Tetris. But he says no. <laughs> wow. So this just completely changes the climate of the matchup right there. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. 
He's gotta, he's gotta go, he's gotta clear quicker though. Oh, that, however. Oh, wow. That's one angry rabbit just completely stamps on that, and that's, oh, That's it. Dawson comes back. We are one and one. Incredible mix of defensive and offensive. Oh. Nicely done, Tetris. Good job, Ruby, saving that. Excellent. Oh, but what's about to happen now, though? Touch the touch style game with so many open pieces like that. Open spaces. It's wild. <laughs> Pressure up. Oh. And. Oh. Wow. That's a decisive knockout from Dawson. It's not over yet, though. 2 1. Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's 2 3. Okay. Gotcha. All right, we're going right to have our next matchup in just a moment.
All right, so as we were setting up the final round, just as a reminder to everybody, we are Retro World Series. We actually host retro gaming tournaments all across the nation, and even globally at some point as well. So feel free to check out the website, check out our socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch to see our calendar, to see our tournaments, to see what our rules are in place, and to see what's coming up. Feel free to give us a follow on all of our socials. And, uh, of course, Comic Palooza will continue to have us here, and we will be back here. So, yeah, we're about to find out what this mystery final game is going to be. So what's it going to be? What's the final game? It looks like the final game is a Dreamcast game. <laughs> I was supposed to be a button. And it looks like it is. I think you're familiar with these two little guys from a little game called Bubble Bobble. It looks like it is Bust the Move 4. All right, and we'll get this started in just a moment. Bust the Move 4, the final round for the Retro World Series Puzzle Championship 2023. And we'll let everybody know what the rules are for play. Come on. There we go. Okay, bear with us just a moment, everybody. We'll get started in just a few moments.
All right, sorry about that, guys. We've got a grand final that's going to be Busta Move 4, also known as Puzzle Bobble 4. We're going to have Ron Chon versus D Awesome for these finals. It's going to be player versus player. There you are. Start at normal. All right. Here we go. Cleon versus Pop. about even right now. He's going to do the next attack. Ronchon takes the first game. We're going to do three out of five here. First to win three. Trouble here, and it is 2 0 Ronchon. Oh, there's sorry, so that's game one for Ronchon. There's two trophies per game. She is up 1 0, We're doing three out of five. Game two. Ron Chong starting out strong. The awesome counter back. Oh, he missed it. That's going to be tough. Right, come up with a good angle there. I right, missed it again. There's his combo. I'm trying, trying to make it come back here. That will help. The awesome is very close to taking this round one of game two and does so the first trophy. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a good clear. Very close. Taking this next round. And, oh, wow, that was close. Looks like they're gonna keep going. Dawson's got a clear. There he does. One level. You get a couple more. There he goes. Clear right there. Oh, that's a very good clear right there. And D Awesome takes game number two. It is tied 1-1. Fourth year. Oh, you missed that corner. There it goes. All right, another attack by Bronchon. to lose this match right here. Close for Ronchon. Is she going to be able to pull out of this one? Oh, and D Awesome takes game two. It is two to one, D Awesome. Uh, uh, that, I was, oh, oh, sorry. I thought that was the second round. All right, so that was the second round. can return. Oh, she does. They have both cleared. He also definitely has a lot more junk coming at him. And throws it right back to Ronchon. Oh, 
throw the next attack. Some junk thrown at him. down on the awesome soon, so he's got to have to clear pretty quickly. Oh, down for he's got to clear. Oh, combo by the awesome. Oh, oh, nice clear by the awesome. Oh, can Renchen get out of this? It's close. Oh, and the awesome does take game two. It's 2 1. It's, it's three out of five, guys. Three out of five. So it's two to one. So first one to win three. Yeah, he would have to win again. So just for clarification, D. Awesome already has one loss. Ronchon does not have a loss. So Ronchon, or D. Awesome is going to have to beat Ronchon twice at this game. Combo by D. Awesome. Uh, good, good, good level play right there. Rid of this. Close. Couple. She needs one more blue. Another orange. Get out of this. She can get off. She can get that corner. Tough corner yet. There. That's a good clear. Get one more clear. Combo. Oh, she's gonna have to get a blue. Oh, that's a good clear. Good combo by Ronchon. And round one of game four goes to Ronchon. junk right there. Combo by the awesome. All kinds of junk. Getting close. Oh, and. 
We are tied 1 1 in game four. Fast. It's gonna start throwing more junk pretty soon. That combo by Ronchon. That was a good clear. Uh, but not enough. So we are tied 2-2. Two. Two. Will Ronchon win it right now with D Awesome? Reset the bracket. Staying with the same characters. <laughs> Each character has different types of attacks. They are apparently enjoying the attack of Leon. way at the moment. I have to clear pretty quickly. Oh, red, that is not the color he needed for this. Oh, there's a clear. Wow. We'll be able to get the next clear before this one drops another line. There he does. Everybody's game here. Everyone wants to lose this. I'm trying with a nice combo here. Once again, it's getting close to be awesome. The colors just, oh, that's going to be tough. Colors, oh, and Ronchon takes round one of game five. The Austin's got a lot of work to do. Ronchon just one round win away from taking home this title. Make it 
good. Jumps in his way, he's going to clear pretty quickly. Takes this first match of the grand finals. The bracket is reset. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is. They're tied. There's 1-1. One, one. Good combo by the awesome. Good combo by the awesome. Don't get each other, that's for sure. Ronchon does actually win this. Congratulations to Ronchon winning our puzzle championship. 